Hello everyone in YouTube land, we lovers back here as always. Alright, I have a very interesting topic that I thought of a couple days ago, and it took me a while to form my words on this video actually, because um, I wanted to be careful and, not be careful, but I wanted to make sure what words I wanted to use and what I wanted to say, and make sure I really wanted to do the video or not. So, um, since there's not a lot going on right now and the year is kind of winding down right now and it's October and Halloween and all that stuff, um, yeah, just a fun, random topic, and something that I have been seeing for the past couple of years now, um, and especially this year too, but just the past couple of years I found interesting and I wanted to make a video about it, so, Nintendo and Nostalgia. Um, this is a very, I shouldn't say it's a deep topic, but it's kind of in a way, um, it's just, again, it's a fun little topic, I don't know how long I'm going to spend on this, but not that long, uh, yeah, N Nintendo Nostalgia. Uh, I don't... I don't love Nintendo because of nostalgia. Um, I love Nintendo because I genuinely love Nintendo and the company and their games. The franchises, the characters, the worlds that they create, the gameplay, the mechanics in their games, just, just everything. Um, I mean, there's some franchises that I don't like from Nintendo you know, like F-Zero or Earthbound. I'm not a big fan of those, too. But I like them, but I'm not, like, deeply in love with them, like Zelda or Mario or Mario Kart or Kirby or Metroid or Donkey Kong, stuff like that, you know what I mean? But anyways, yeah, I don't love Nintendo just because of nostalgia. Um, I mean, everything's nostalgic to you if you grew up with it. But for gaming, though, I mean, Sony, Sega... All that stuff, right? You grew up with it, you feel nostalgic about it. Crash Bandicoot, Sonic, Spyro, Mario. <laughs> Think of your mascot platformer that you grew up with. I mean, you feel nostalgic over it. Even You even feel nostalgic over bad games on the NES, Super Nintendo. <laughs> I mean, you, you feel 64. I, feel, I, I have huge um, nostalgic memories, good memories, even the bad games. But anyways... I don't feel just. I don't, I don't love Nintendo still to this day, and I will till the day I die. I don't love Nintendo still because of nostalgia. I love it because I love it. That's who I am. It's part of my blood, my DNA. It's like I was born to love it. You know what I mean? Like I was grew up with NES. But that nostalgia, maybe for you too, has worn off, and you visit old games, right? Like anything on the NES. Mario's, your fucking Kirby's, your Metroid's, all that stuff. Super Nintendo, Game Boy. Dig out your Super Mario 64, Mario Kart 64, all that stuff. That nostalgia is gone. Um, Donkey Kong Country. Whatever. You know what I mean? Like, you play any game from them, and you, my nostalgia's worn off. And I know they're some of the greatest games of all time. Um, like I said, maybe it's for YouTube, like, we all have the nostalgic memories of older games where we think they were great back then, and they're not great anymore. <laughs> and, there, and there's some out there, there's definitely some out there. Um, like Donkey Kong 64, maybe, maybe some of you that like it, but I don't though. I didn't even like it then, but, um, and that's not even really an old game. <laughs> it's getting there, but yeah. Um, but no, the, the nostalgia, honestly, the, the nostalgic is gone. Um, the last time I actually felt nostalgia for anything, and this is not even gaming related, um, the last time I felt nostalgia was watching, I mean, there's a couple things here and there, of course, but something that's nerdy and geeky was Power Rangers, my name went from Power Rangers. That, that's the last time I felt anything, nostalgia. When the DVDs were starting to come out, you know, I was re revisiting them because I haven't watched them in a long, like the original, I, there's no way to watch them. Until they came out on DVD and Netflix and all that stuff. That was the last time I felt actual nostalgia. Where I was like, holy fucking shit, I haven't seen this in a long time. I'm amazed. Um, I'm almost amazed how cheesy it was. How corny. How stupid the effects were. The acting. You took it seriously as a kid. But I still love it to this day. You know what I mean? That nostalgia also has worn off too. But it's still there a little bit. But, but you know, with Nintendo and all that. Like I said, all those games I mentioned... Nostalgia's worn off. I love it because I love it. You know, I, I'm not, you know, I'm used to it. I played it. 
you know, you played it over and over again. Um, I never really fell out of gaming, never really fell, fell out of Nintendo. Not even once, honestly. Never. Not even like, oh, I'm too cool for this, this is baby games, all that stuff, whatever. No. <laughs> never at once. Pokemon, all that stuff. Always loved it. Uh, so, I mean, look at me. Look at, look at this. You know, this is who I am. But, yeah, I, I never really fell out of it at all, and always loved it. And, yeah, I just, I, I love it because I love it. You know what I mean? I love the gameplay. I love the aesthetic, I love the art style, and yeah, it, it's worn off. I'm used to it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Playing the super original Super Mario Bros. Zelda, Metroid, Kirby, all that stuff. You know what I mean? It doesn't really phase me. You know what I mean? Um, someone who's maybe fell out of gaming, fell out of the loop, go back to it. You feel the nostalgia, like the NES Classic or the Super NES Classic. You feel that nostalgia, and that's great. But also, Nintendo gets a bad rap for... Nostalgia. They get a bad rap for, like, all they do is cater to nostalgia, and that's it. They're good at that. They do the same things over and over again. Mario, Metroid, Zelda, Donkey Kong, stuff like that, you know. And that's not true. Of course they throw in a little retro stuff in there in Smash Bros. and Mario Odyssey and stuff like that. They, they throw in retro stuff, but they also throw in new stuff, too. Um, they don't just live off nostalgia. They try to do new things, too, all the time in their games. New mechanics, new worlds, new things you haven't seen before. Or played before. Look at Splatoon. You know, look at ARMS. Just stuff that you haven't seen before, you know. But that's not true. Nintendo's not predictable. Sometimes they are, but not all the time. So, um, yeah. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know. <laughs> or I just wanted to, wanted to know what, what, do you, what do you guys think? Do you feel nostalgia when you play an old Nintendo game? Has it worn off? Do you still love it because you genuinely love it like I do? I'm sure you do too, so. Like when you boot up an old game on Virtual Console or whatever, you know what I mean? That nostalgia is just worn off. It's gone. Um, you just love it because you fucking love it. You love the worlds. You love the characters. You love the art style. You love the gameplay and the mechanics and all that stuff. And that's what it is. It's all, it's all about. So, um, but anyways, peace out. Definitely gonna do me more more random videos, obviously. And Mario Odyssey comes out soon. I'm doing an unboxing of that, review and all that stuff. So, anyways. Peace out. More random videos going soon. Coming out low. Later.